In this tutorial, we will discuss how to create an animation like this, using some simple techniques in Blender. So, we have added four rectangular planes, and they are flat on the XY surface. We'll convert these planes into playing cards, but first we'll add some bevel at these corners. So, let us go to the Modifiers tab for the first card, and add the bevel modifier from here. We have to change the bevel type to vertices, because we are dealing with a 2D plane, it's not a 3D object. Then we have to change the bevel amount, maybe we can keep it as 0.06, and the number of segments can be 10. Now we'll add this same bevel to the other three, so select them together with the Shift key, and select this card at the end, then we can copy the bevel modifier from here. Now we'll add the texture for these cards, so select the first card, and in the rendered view mode, go to the Materials tab, and create a new material. We have to change this base color to an image texture node, and then we have to select the picture file for our first card. So the first card is done, now we have to add some similar pictures for the other three cards as we see here. In the next step, we'll combine all these cards into a single location to create a deck of cards, but we also don't want them to overlap with each other. So for the first card, let's change the exposition to 0, and we'll move it up by say 0.01. Similarly, we have to arrange the other three with an increasing height, and we can even add a background plane with Z position at 0. Let's do that quickly, and later we'll also see, if we want, how we can place these cards or this whole setup vertically. Now we have to move the origin point of these cards to some location around this area, which is one-fourth from the left side, and very close to the bottom line. Let's first unhide our 3D cursor from here. We need to move this 3D cursor to this location, which we can do in this end panel. Let's change the X location to minus 0.2 and the Y location can be, say, minus 0.5. Now we have to move the origin to this cursor location, so select all the cards together like this, and ensure that no other object is selected. Then go to the Object menu, and set Origin to 3D Cursor from here. We can also hide the cursor, just to keep the viewport clean. So, if we now rotate the cards, they will rotate around this origin, which is the sole reason we shifted their origin point to the bottom left corner. In the next step, we have to animate this rotation value, so for frame number one, let's insert a keyframe here. And then repeat this for all the other cards for their initial position. Now for the end position, let's go to frame number 100 for example. And we have to create a V-shape by rotating these cards. So we can easily rotate this first card toward left by some angle and insert a keyframe. Then we have to do the same thing for the second card. We can keep a gap of 15 degrees between their angle of rotation and we need a keyframe as usual. Let's repeat this for the other two cards as well keeping the same difference in their angle of rotation. So the V-shape is ready, let's go to the first frame and run the animation. The cards will open up gradually as expected, but the good thing about this is, we can even relocate this whole set to some other location, and the animation will still work. So it's flexible from that perspective, but that's not the case if you want to rotate the set, or if you want to make it upright. We need to use an empty if we want to do that, so let's first add an empty into this scene. Now we need to select the cards together like this, and then select this empty at the end, so that the empty becomes the active object. Now press Ctrl P to bring this menu, and then select Object Keep Transform. This empty will work as a controller. We can easily rotate this empty to rotate the cards or make them upright without breaking the animation we have already created. Let's verify this, and one short note about these playing cards, if you want to add a backside picture for the cards, you can check the tutorial link in the video description where we have done this for a dollar bill. I hope it helps, so thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.